Can I want. taste your juice? Hey folks, P. Basardo. What are we here to do tonight? Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you my brandy new coiling loops. Uh, good news is, if the whole vaping thing doesn't work out, uh, maybe I have a career in dentistry and or brain surgery. Okay, so we'll take those off for now. Um, we are going to talk about vape can, eh? That's what it was all about. Um, vape can was fantastic. Uh, at the end of this video, we're also going to do uh, the winner of the contest, the last contest we did. Now, guys, do me a favor. Please, I'm begging you, uh, stop asking me when I'm going to do the um, the contest winners, okay? I, I, I do it the same way all the time. We have a contest in one video. If you guys keep watching the videos, you will see the winner in a future video, okay? I got enough of emails uh, answering, you know, questions about vaping, um, not adding in there the, uh, the questions about when I'm going to uh, have the winner of the contest. So uh, they are always in future uh, videos, and I usually label the, the the video with with a contest winner or something like that in there but uh, we're gonna get to that later on right now vape can 2013 let's start off with these guys right here vape can 2013 wow okay I think I mean it, it was a lot bigger than I expected it to be yeah you know for a first event That's very cool. very impressive yeah. so these are the three folks that are behind you, you guys organize the whole thing yourself right yeah yep. yep. okay so we got Ian we got, what the hell is your name again? Jason, Jason the Vaping Guy. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Some bad hat, Harry. And Frenchie. Frenchie. Okay, and you almost didn't make it. Yeah, oh I, I, I come down food poisoning. I had KFC and... Uh... Yeah, that's a great promotion for KFC. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> what does it take to put one of these things together? Well, Lots of migraine pills. <laughs> uh, time. Um, I traveled to Toronto several times, about six times in the last six months, just to get this planning. Uh, countless nights with Ian. Um, Skype, phone, Jay, Skype, Skype phone calls and stuff like that. It's just dedication, weekly meetings, occasionally missed a few. <laughs> just, a, just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> Driving like, down yeah. here and uh, what, three feet of snow that one day? Yeah, oh, three feet of snow. Yeah, it was a big snowstorm that came and really? uh, we came. We drove down from Scarborough, which is about half an hour from here, yeah. in the middle of a snow blizzard. We came yeah. down to take measurements and uh, check out more hotels. Basically, all started with uh, me and Ian kind of discussing the idea, the possibility of a VV. These two guys. So we started this, off, this and within right about two months, we kind of realized, you know, we need we need somebody with experience. We need we need we need a third person. So yeah. Jay actually called and volunteered at that point, being you know on several vape meets. And he's been indispensable. Uh, the feedback he's given from other vape meets, this is what's happened here, this is what we should watch out for here. So I, without him, I don't think it would have been as successful. As, yeah, as I mean, as I didn't really see any hiccups. I, I, I thought that, it was just, That's the point. If you didn't see you them, didn't see we're them. happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, was, they were there, you just didn't yeah. see them. It just it seemed like a, a really, really good event with a whole lot of really nice people, too. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. everybody was fantastic. you got to love Canadians. you got to love Canadians. Yeah. Exactly. In the beginning, it was kind of worrisome because we only got, what, 15 tables? 15 tables. We yeah. weren't sure about the we vendor were look, pickup. We were yeah. looking at one point in time, I think we we did the calculations. We were both, all three of us, were looking at 600 piece loss. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're we're glad to say that uh, not only are we uh, back in the black, but we're doing 2014. Good. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. So you're confirmed for 2014. We're confirmed now. for 2014. Yeah. Yes. I want to come back. Can I come back? Yes, you can Definitely come back. Can. Awesome. Um, so I, I noticed a, a lot of vendors. Um, product is, is is a little basic, you know, compared to some of the, the meats that I've uh, come to. But what I did notice is uh, Canada is definitely stepping up its game as far as e-liquids. Yes. yes. Um, I tasted some really, really good e-liquids here. And even yeah, for us, sure. we were actually really surprised to see some, uh, some e-liquids coming from Quebec. Yeah. Never never heard of these people before the meet, and they came out representing themselves. We have a person here from Saskatchewan as well, making his own juice. Unbelievable turnout. Juice, it's phenomenal. And the flavors like, are just... Like, yeah, the flavors are really I, good. I, I do reviews, mm -hmm. and I usually end up doing a, a lot of U.S. reviews. And I really didn't think they had it up here until I started tasting the stuff. No, like, and that's exactly how I was. That's exactly how I was before today. Yeah. Now it's a different game entirely. Yeah, it's a whole um, new world. So a lot of your vendors uh, stepped up with um, prizes, door prizes too. Give me yes. a dollar amount. All right. So when we first started, and this was my world, I yeah. said eight hundred dollars for platinum. Nobody's gonna be stupid enough to do eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Maybe one, maybe, maybe two. two. Exactly. We had twelve. Twelve platinum. Yeah. 
Grand total, at the end of the day, $14,000 worth of product. $14,000 worth of And that's retail value. Yep. Right? And, and, I mean, I know that firsthand because my throat is yes. killing me. You should <laughs> make me call all the numbers. <laughs> you could have stepped out at any moment. I was. No uh, way. I, I wasn't. Super, I wasn't gonna. Walk, I wasn't gonna. <laughs> very much appreciate. I never. I never not finish a job. You know. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, really good turnout. Really good event. I mean, everybody has been super nice. Yeah. The vendors are terrific. Yeah. Uh, and and congratulations. You guys thank deserve you. it. I mean, thank you. Seriously, thank you very much. congratulations. Final numbers for people: 250 uh, participants today. 150 from yesterday. Plus about 70 uh, vendors puts us at just shy of 500, which was we were hoping for three to 500 people for our first event. So yep. we're right in the mark. Good job. Yep. Good job. So, so yay, continued success, and we'll see you back. Thank you. At, uh, see you next year. Next year, absolutely. Definitely. 2014. Thank you very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Phil. So yeah, I mean, I thought it was a really good event. Um, it, it definitely wasn't the biggest event that I've been to, and it certainly wasn't the smallest event uh, for the first one of this size. Uh, I thought they did a fantastic job. Uh, there were around 25 vendors there. Uh, we'll talk to some of them as we go. Uh, what did I see that was new? Um, I'll be honest with you, not a lot, okay? Um, it was it was definitely more juice-centric um, than, than hardware. There was certainly a lot of hardware. Uh, I did notice um, Sigeli, Sigeli Mechs. I don't know what number they're on right now, but they must put out another uh, mech every day. So I did see some Sigeli mechs that I wasn't familiar with. Um, also saw another clone, a clone of the uh, the Titanide. Um, here are some photos of it here. Uh, this was being offered from uh, Jack at Happy Vapor. I had a chance to talk to Jack a little bit. You look amazing in that poster right there. What a wiggle give you. It's, it's unbelievable. Very good. How's the show going for you, Jack? Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Uh, you know, great turnout for the first I'm, I'm totally blown away so like, so by the vendors. Like, I didn't expect to have, you know, it feels very much like Vape Bass or VaporCon. It does. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would have been nice though if somebody popular showed up on the show? I know. Why didn't anyone show up? You know, show? maybe a celebrity. No, I'm just saying. I don't somebody, know. you know, somebody does Like review. Dimitri. If Dimitri were here, it would be oh, so much. Dimitri were so here, it would be so many more people. Wow. Grim he would, Green, oh, Grim would have brought everybody. Any big name. Yeah, anybody. Big name. Yeah, they, anybody. Yeah, they, they needed somebody bigger here than. But they, I'm sure they tried, but. <laughs> they tried, nothing they, happened. They probably asked everybody. Well, I think Dimitri's got a uh, event going on tomorrow, actually. Oh, Wiki, that's where everyone probably that's is. That's probably where everybody is. Yeah, 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 I understand. Okay, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those funny, funny guys from Happy Vapor. Uh, you know, uh, Jack had the, uh, the Titanide clone there, but I'm not sure if you know this, but Jack himself is a clone. He's a clone of the guy from the, uh, the ninja, uh, the juice ninja and the shark vacuum commercials. And here to show you just how easy, exciting and delicious eating healthy can be is the man behind the number one selling professional blender system in America. Jack from Happy Vapor. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Jack. I am here today to introduce you to the brand new Mega Kitchen System. What you do is you put all your <laughs> ingredients in here and they just blend up really fast. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Now, I did see um, one other clone that I've never seen before at this event. We didn't bring any. We have lots. Uh, I can see his face. Oh, your I get camera, camera shy. <laughs> I get it. Oh, God, it's Phil. There's my guy right here. I so here. need my own statue. There it is. There really it is. Look at that. I got, a, I got a guy and you don't have a guy. I shall call him Mini-Me. Hi, I have a guy. guy. There is no Phil. Where's my Phil Bissardo statue? You don't have one. No, I don't. You don't have one. I, I gotta get the yeah. Zen statue right. before That's I get right. my own statue. That's right. Advantage Zen. <laughs> so yes, Zen was there, and he had his uh, Zenesis Two line. Um, you know, some of the uh, the Cardo tanks and the different bodies and different colors. And he had his new guy. I don't have a guy. He's got a guy. I could just see Zen like sitting around late at night talking to the guy, like bouncing some ideas off the guy. My uh, guess is that that guy is probably one of the few that could actually understand some of that stuff that's coming out of Zen's head. So like I said, there were a lot of uh, e-liquids there, a lot of juice vendors. Um, plenty of hardware too, but some of the more basic hardware. Um, so let's talk to a few of those uh, e-liquid vendors now, starting with uh, one of the first folks that I met from Canada in the uh, the electronic cigarette arena right next to Niagara 
um, was uh, Funky Vapes. You're a little funky. Little. So uh, tell me about Funk Sauce. I love, I love the name, by the way. Well, thank you very much. New juice line, uh, all made in Canada, Niagara Falls, Ontario. Uh, we started out with Pearl Necklace. Now we, we have about five official ones right now. Can you tell me more about where the name Pearl Necklace came from? Well, I'll let you use your imagination, but it contains <laughs> banana, custard, and two coconuts. Oh, so much. Well, so it kind of makes sense. It makes sense indeed. All right. And how's the, uh, the sugar? Excellent. Uh, I did taste the juice. Oh, yeah? It's good. It's, it's good awesome. stuff. Man. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Reviews? Kind of. I took a little break, but I got something new to review, so I'll probably be taking it. This is a custom Zen hybrid, man. No, it's uh, six grams of copper plated and then acid bath. It almost looks like wood. Yeah, I think he said it was acid bath, but beautiful, eh? I should have one, eh? I'm not sure what's. Not this one. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks so much. Cold turkey. That's right. Cold turkey up in the hizzo. The hizzo. <laughs> yes! Uh, oh no. The one and only, Pete Sardo, man. Where? Where is that? <laughs> yeah, where is he? I don't How's know. the show going for you guys? Man, it's awesome. Did you sell a ton of juice? We sold a ton of juice. Did you good? Yes, and even better, we gave away tons of juice. Yes, 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 yes. So I, I tried some of your liquid stuff, and I love good stuff. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, we had a live Pete Bissardo tasting at the table. <laughs> Unreal. We got 12 minutes of footage. Stay tuned. It's getting on YouTube real soon, tonight. Sweet, thank you so much, man. That means a lot. It means a lot. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Zeke lost. I like your packaging. Come on, now. they're behind the package, yes. right? Oh, absolutely. You've got, there's no way you two guys came up with that packaging. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. I thought so. Life is absolutely wonderful. Is it? How are you guys doing? Amazing. Did you do well today? Yes. I, well enough. I saw well enough. Your, uh, your donations to the uh, the prizes, that was fantastic. Thank so you very much. You guys are, are, are doing things a little bit different with your flavors, okay? Take me through making one of your the, the most complex flavor you have. Take me through what it takes to put it together. Our coffee was probably the hardest one to perfect. Uh, I'm a huge coffee drinker. Before doing this, I worked at Starbucks for four years. Uh, I can't live without my coffee. Yes, yes. Uh, professional barista by trade. All the time. Yeah. Uh, so I knew I wanted to get a really, really good coffee flavor. I ordered Loran coffee. I ordered just about every coffee concentrate that I could find, and none of them were doing it for me. So then I started trying to figure out how I could really bring that uh, uh, premium coffee flavor to the vape. Uh, so I started researching some methods on flavor extraction, and uh, after a couple of months of experimenting, I was able to really successfully extract the complex flavor of the bold French roast coffee, which is one of my favorite things to drink. I drink my coffee black. I really appreciate the, the heavy, uh, bold flavor of the French roast. So that's why I started with uh, the French roast for our Parisian cafe. Uh, the way that we make it is we get brand new beans we buy right off the shelves. We uh, open it, fresh beans, grind it incredibly finely, and extract it in propylene glycol. The figures have to be absolutely exact. In order to replicate this flavor, you need to know exactly how much grinds, exactly how much propylene glycol, room temperature, so many factors to consider. But once you really perfect it, uh, the coffee flavor, I think, is, is my favorite thing to vape right now. Yeah, it's, it's a very unique, very, um, it's a black coffee. I mean, it's it black coffee. Matter of fact, I took a couple un unpowered uh, hits off of it to, to just to get the, the wick a little bit more wet. And you, you can taste co coffee beans. It's just coffee beans. Without it out, right? And you have an amazing uh, green apple flavor. What's yep. the name of that flavor? Uh, that is actually a guava delight. Guava delight. Yep. And I got a lot of green apple, which is in there, but it's actually green apple and guava, right? Yes, yes. Okay, which is, it's a fantastic juice. Yeah, we thank like you very much. So yep. and I'm sure I'll be saying something about it soon enough. Although I'm saying something about it right now, awesome. though, right? Thank right. you. Thank so you. good luck, guys. Thank you, so, thank you so much for visiting. Great meeting you guys. Very thank great you. to meet right. you. So yeah, I am mentioning those guys, uh, Vape Loft right there. This is that uh, the Guava Delight. Um, I got their coffee flavor as well. Um, I'm not that familiar with Guava, but what I definitely get from this is that green apple. It's a very natural, very fresh uh, green apple, a really, really good flavor. Um, 
So there's some uh, good e-liquid. I got some e-liquids from the guys at Cold Turkey and just a whole bunch of other e-liquids, uh, whether I paid for them or they just came my way. Uh, I am super appreciative uh, to all you folks out there. Um, but, uh, and I'm not showing you this photo to show off, but I am, uh, I'm showing you this photo to show my appreciation, number one. Number two, uh, when you contact me like in a couple of days and say, hey, what did you think of that flavor? Um, that is just like the tip of the iceberg as far as the e-liquids that I need to get through. I, I, I just can't do it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I mention them. I write about them on tasteyourjuice.com. Um, and a lot of them do go for giveaways, but, uh, again, always appreciative, uh, for all the e-liquids that I receive. And speaking of e-liquids, two more things to talk about. Number one, uh, Canada definitely stepping up uh, their their game in uh, e-liquid uh, production. I noticed that uh, right away because I I did get a few uh, requests to review Canadian juices, and some of them were good, some of them were not so good. Uh, but a lot of the e-liquids that I did taste at this event, and it was a little bit of a slower, more relaxing event for me. I did get to taste a lot more e-liquids than I usually do at uh, some of these events. So I did taste some really good e-liquids. There are some good uh, Canadian vendors. Uh, you do have a lot more choices up there in Canada now than you ever did before, and I'm sure that's just going to keep getting uh, better and better and better. Now, since we're talking about e-liquids, uh, U.S., the United States, we have AIMSA, okay? It's an organization designed to kind of um, bring some order to the uh, the chaos that is e-liquid production, okay? So they have like some standards and some guidelines, and you could sign up with them, and they do testing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Canada has something very similar. Uh, let's talk to Dan about that. So I'm here with Dan at Vape 2013. <laughs> and uh, so Dan, you're involved with uh, an organization, organization called ECTA. Electronic Cigarette Trade Association of Canada, okay. yes. And what is it that you guys are trying to do? Well, what we're trying to do is we have um, uh, an industry standard of excellence guide. And it has all the applicable Canadian regulation that, ap that applies for electronic cigarettes. There is a clear gray zone in Canada when it comes to, uh, you know, e-liquid with nicotine in it being banned or not legal or stopped by Health Canada. What our goal here is is to make it make everybody aware, government officials, consumers, vendors, everybody, uh, that it is legal. Here are the regulations that you need to follow in order to sell this legally, and then we can prove to government regulators, you know this is legal. Here's test results showing exactly what's in the what's in the liquid. Here's here's the regulation that's proving that this is legal and that it can be sold. And the end goal is to get you know this industry mainstream in Canada. Um, that's that's the real big thing. Now members can member you know we're we're looking for um, you know any any e-cigarette companies to join up and become members. Um, you know you can we have the application on our website uh, at uh, ectaofcanada.com um, and you can go on there the, mem the membership package is there uh, we're gonna have a lot more information coming out on that website in the next couple of weeks uh, we just launched this program at Vape Camp this year so it's just just starting out we had it took a little while to make the book um, it's got a lot it's 192 pages long of regulations and that kind of thing so it took a it took over a year to develop but um, uh, now we have it and okay. so you guys are actually very similar to our AIMSA. Very similar to AIMSA, yes. Okay. yes. Have you talked with those guys at all? Uh, we actually use the exact same uh, testing laboratory that uh, AIMSA uses oh, for their know. enthalpy, yes. Okay, great. Yes. Well, well, good luck with it. And again, the website is? Uh, www.ectaofcanada.com. Awesome. Good to meet you, Dan. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right, so since we're talking about important stuff, uh, let's keep with that theme for uh, a while here. I did get a chance to talk to the uh, the uh, boys from Flavor Art, okay? Um, Flavor Art, an Italian uh, e-liquid company, and they are responsible for um, some studies that have been done, uh, and they also have a new study coming out. Uh, so let's talk to them a little bit about that. He's playing Space Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> Marco. Marco? Yeah, it is. Marco, so you're with uh, Flavor Art? Yeah, I okay. am. And you guys just, uh, sponsored a, um, a, a study yeah. a while back, okay? Yeah. And you had a new study coming out. Yeah. Okay, and, and you've, uh, you told me a little bit about it, but why don't you tell everybody else about it? Sure. Well, it's a very important study just because it's a clinical study, so it's made with real people. Uh, um, our physician took a bunch of non-smokers, a bunch of smokers, and a bunch of electronic cigarette users, and just uh, 
um, monitor their own, their own blood stream analysis, urine and everything else. And all this information will be contained in, um, in a study that will be published through the end of August or the very first day of September. It's very important because it's a peer-reviewed study. Uh, we hope that will be, and we are almost sure that will be published in some medical journal, just because we have not control on that study. So it means basically that we sponsor sponsor that study, but we don't have any any information of that. Could be great or could be not. So we have only to wait. But since we are talking about an electronic cigarette, we are confident that the result will be great, and we publish publish it as soon as we get that. So I mean, it's really it, it's something that we need. Yeah. The more information that we have, the better. Be it good information or bad information, we need the information. We, we need the truth, and yeah, we, we, the truth. We, we think that science is the best way. Yeah. Just because we, we don't like bad press based on basically nothing, uh, we would like to give some proof on, on what we are saying always, that it's an arm reduction method that works. Alright, All right, good, so I'm looking forward to reading that. I'm hearing, uh, hearing looking you. forward okay. to. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. You're welcome. Good luck with the rest of the show. Oh, thank you. And by the way, uh, Marco did uh, promise me a copy of that study, or at least the information to uh, to get to you via a link or something else. So uh, he did tell me as soon as it's available, um, he'll let me know, and I will let you guys know about it. All right. Um, so back to uh, some more of the vendors. Uh, JR Custom Turning was there, and I, I talked to him about uh, his wood. How's it going, Phil? How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I love your wood. <laughs> Can I taste your juice? Your wood is so firm and 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 round. <laughs> terrific wood. Look at that. So you're actually making these, huh? Yeah. 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 How, how's it working out for you so far? Good. Pretty good. Yeah. And you have you have like a prototype of another one coming out? Is I do. That, that's the, that's the caliber. It's going to be held in our collector section. Okay. I, I really like that. That's yeah. nice. That's a nice piece. Uh, okay. And I told you. I said. It would be amazing to do a whole chess set. Yeah, like I've, a couple other people mentioned that. You've been spreading the word around? That, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was the only one who said it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or, or, I, I said it to you. Speak, yeah. But uh, that would be so cool to do uh, a PV chess set. Yeah. I expect that from you now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good luck with it, man. Take care, Phil. Right, take Pleasure meeting you. Now, you do have to be careful when you're walking around uh, vape meets, especially in Canada. Uh, you never know who you might run into. I'm just miming you. I want to be the next Fear Basado. You're, um, you're Canadian, aren't you? Uh, no, yeah. What's with the hair, dude? Uh, this is the uh, Canadian winter preparation. You know, like a Chinese Justin Bieber. Well, hello! <laughs> there, there goes all my street cred, Phil. Thanks very much. Uh, great show for the first one. Yeah, very, very good turnout. Really good uh, very turnout. surprised that uh, that we had this many uh, people travel not only from locally but from across the country. Yeah. Uh, you know, in Canada, it's not cheap to fly. It. People made the commitment and came well, I mean, over. I came all the way from the United States. All the way from the United States. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You really need to live closer to me because I. I, I, I wish. I'm just I, every time I'm with you, I'm smiling, I'm laughing. We'd have to battle on the wheels of steel, though. You should. DJ Miami, you one should of these days, like head to head. Big, I want to call it the fog party. The mod party? Okay, no fog machines, just vapors. Just vapors? We yeah, can do it. We can do we can that, do it. right? Yep. Good talk to you, Brad. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, so oh, many. So, oh, so many. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, DJ Vapes, he makes me laugh. Uh, always a good time hanging around that guy right there. Um, Who else was there? Uh, Niagara Kayaker, you guys may know him from the forums and from some of the other videos. Uh, another person who's become a really good friend of mine. We actually spent the day with him, and then uh, we went to the event uh, the following day. Uh, he spent his entire 21st birthday, he's not really 21, um, wrapping coils. He did like a, um, a rebuildable uh, tutorial. He had a little table set up. He had all his tools and torches and all kinds of stuff in front of him. And he proceeded to uh, wrap a little teeny tiny coils uh, for, uh, I think he did like 40 coils. I know we went to dinner with him uh, that night and he like had a splitting headache. And I could imagine that that would happen, wrapping coils all day long. Um, but uh, it was his birthday and we did sing happy birthday to him. Look at the look of pure appreciation on his face. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Sean 
So yes, uh, very happy birthday to uh, Sean, a.k.a. Niagara. So what did I bring with me? Um, a few different things. I brought a, um, a twist with a uh, HH357 that I used for uh, tasting uh, e-liquids during the course of the day. Uh, I did bring a Provary with uh, the Russian that I am absolutely loving, by the way. Uh, and I, uh, for night, I did have the EA with the Typhoon and some uh, Good Life Vapor um, Deadly Sin that I love. Mm-hmm. Ah. All right. Um, so it's really going to be impossible for me to uh, to get to all of the vendors in this video. But uh, everybody was super, super nice. I uh, We really did have a good time. Uh, my friend Drew came with me. Sherry came with me. And uh, my wife came with me as well. Um, she got herself a pink Sid. She has a pink Provary, but she liked the, the, the color of the Sid. So uh, anything to get her or to help her. Uh, vape more than she is smoking. Uh, I will I will do that for her. So I bought her a pink Sid and then she went around. She actually tasted juices. I was so excited about that. Uh, and I wound up uh, buying her a few uh, bottles of e-liquid as well. Now there is one thing that they were doing on stage and I, I do appreciate that. They were having people um, crush cigarette packs. Okay. And if, um, if you crushed a cigarette pack, you did get a, um, a 30 mil bottle of e-liquid from I'm going to say this the right way, La Vap Shop, okay, the vape shop, La Vap Shop, um, and I did get a chance to talk to those guys over there, um, and they did something uh, that was really, it's like, it's become this like competition, uh, who can bring a tear to my eye at these, uh, these events, uh, and uh, these guys uh, definitely pulled it off. So uh, let's talk to those guys from La Vap Shop. Just vape, dude. Just vape, dude. Yeah, dude. Big vape, big flavor. La Vap Shop. La Vap Shop. La Vap Shop. La Vap Shop. No, say it in French. La Vap Shop. There you go. La Vap Shop. Because <laughs> 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 it's, it's, it's not CA over here. So uh, I met you guys last night. Yeah. We hung out. We had a vape. All right. We both sitting on a walk. Now you were doing reviews here. Yeah. Somebody actually said I gotta get my picture taken with you because you are the P. Basardo of Canada. Oh yeah. A lot of people told me that, but uh, I was always like, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as handsome and tanned as, as P. Basardo. Forget about it. Oh, forget, forget to boot it, eh? <laughs> How's the show working out for you guys? Good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, uh, we're really happy of uh, everything ending good like that. Yep. For the first show, it's amazing. Okay, and well, you guys uh, gifted me with something that uh, was just amazing, and I, I love it. Um, it just means a lot to me. It's uh, that mod holder right over there. It's unbelievable. Unfortunately, he didn't get all the mods because David would cry. Yeah, yeah, those are mine. <laughs> so, I mean, I think you guys saw before, like, just how much that meant to me. Yep. It really does mean the world to me. I'm just so appreciative. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, that people like, you know, the stuff that I do, and they learn from it, and they get a smile out of it, and that it's pre appreciated, you know, makes me feel that, good. That's, that, that's because we appreciate what you do. Yeah, you know, it just, that things like that, that, it just makes me want to just continue doing it, because, you know, it does take a lot of time. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm pretty sure about but, that. Uh, oh, my God, crazy. But uh, thank you guys, and uh, I'm glad you guys did get at the show, and the party's not over yet, right? You're no, still it's just party. Right? Okay. We're going to have a beer together. It's, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a vape event unless you have a hangover on the last day. That's right? it. Absolutely. Yeah. But I That's why we kept the hotel for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hockey fans, you should know what that is. And by the way, look at the expert mounting that we have here. Look at that. It's oh, yeah. permanently mounted with uh, this is, a beautiful duct tape uh, work here. This is made by a general Martin. contractor. <laughs> Montreal Canadiens! <laughs> Hockey fans up here in Canada. Go let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Thank you, guys. So yeah, I wound up talking to those guys for a long time. Uh, the night before, well, actually Friday night, um, and then uh, and then Saturday night too. Uh, Jean Philippe and the rest of them. Um, one of them actually showed me a, um, a video of their shop in Montreal. Uh, very, very cool. Um, there was a, a juice section, uh, the retail section, and then there was a rebuildable section there too, uh, where they can work on and show you guys how to, um, 
how to how to build and, and fix coils. So uh, I, I wish them the very best of luck. And uh, they they did have this made for me, or they made it themselves. Um, it's the uh, my logo on a a beautiful mod holder here, and it kind of spins around and stuff. You can put juice and drip tips and things on it. I'm I'm uh. <clears throat> just blown away by that type of thing and, and, and I don't expect it by any means um, but uh, I'm, I'm so appreciative you guys have absolutely no idea so uh, thank you a very sincere thank you to you guys from love up shop and I think um, song who I finally met from not vapor us uh, vapor us had something to do with it too so uh, just uh, very very sincere thank you guys all right so let's uh, go to the contest now let's find the wiener the big wiener of the um, the kit from JJ Vapes, the Ego V. Um, the I got a lanyard here, a mini Vivanova transition ring, and some e-liquid from uh, those guys at Vapes Gone Wild. Oh, and the shirt. I didn't forget the shirt. They got the shirt, too. Uh, what else do I have? I have something else. Uh, a drip tip, a uh, very unique drip tip from Captive Vape as well. Let's... All right, so first of all, what was the name of the song? Well, break out your Cavariccis and Capizios. It was Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe. All right, so uh, that was the correct answer. Uh, let's see who won this one. All right, so here are all the names in random.org. This is a list randomizer. There are 1,304 of you. Let's see who won. Congratulations to... John Harper, John Harper, you just won, well, everything. All right, Mr. John Harper, here's what you got to do. Send an email to pbasardo at tasteyourjuice.com using the same email address that you used to enter the contest with. I'll verify who you are and uh, get this, uh, this whole package out in the mail to you uh, just as soon as I can. Uh, don't make the mistake that that last guy made, otherwise we'll just have another contest with all this stuff. I got a uh, well. I got a lot of reviews coming up, but um, we're gonna do uh, another contest with this next review. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit uh, about the um, the Russian again. Found out some new stuff about this, and then we are rapidly ap uh, approaching, which is blowing my mind, uh, thirty thousand subscribers. Okay, so I want to do something special for that contest. Now, uh, the giveaway for that contest uh, may. Um, uh, have a box like this, uh, and it may um, be the uh, the I Taste One Thirty Four, the black uh, version. Okay, so uh, that may uh, be the thirty thousandth uh, subscriber uh, contest, uh, and some stuff on top of this too. So uh, keep your eyes out for that one. That one's going to be uh, a little bit tricky. It's going to be some work involved on on your part. Okay. So anyway, that is the contest winner, and a look at Vape Can Twenty Thirteen. You know, it's funny because. Um, that is actually the closest um, big vaping event that I have been to, and it's in another country. Uh, it was only a three-hour drive for me, and I'm very much looking forward to uh, VapeCan 2014. Um, so to uh, the people who put it together, all of the vendors, all of the people who showed up, we had a great time. Hope you guys did too. Um, and uh, by the way, all these photos uh, that are in um, Taste Your Juice underneath this video, they're also on my Facebook page. So if you do see yourself, tag away. That's it, folks. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Can I taste your juice?